Hello YouTube. How y'all doing? Hope y'all doing fine. Really do. Yesterday we had a live stream. I hope it's working this time. Um, there's no really no way for me to. I really ain't figured this out yet. Good. So I don't know. We'll just have to see. It says I'm live, showing everything here. So maybe it's working this time. So we're gonna go with it. This is a <clears throat> a video of the commissioner of the NF the NBA. And yesterday in this video that didn't give you no video, no uh, no pictures, no caption, which I'm sorry for that. Had no control over it. But in this video, I tell y'all about democracy at work. And today, the man has been banned for life. For life, people. And he's going to do everything in his power to take his team away from him. He can't go to the stadium. He can't go to practices. He can't do anything with his team. Um, people. Remember yesterday, if any of you was listening about what I told you, I hope you were listening. Because this is exactly what I told you was going to happen. Exactly to the T of what they're doing. No ifs, no ands, no buts. Straight up what they were going to do. And that's exactly what they did. We'll listen to a couple of seconds of this. Shortly after the release of an audio, audio recording this past Saturday morning of a conversation that allegedly included Clippers owner Donald Sterling, the NBA commenced an investigation, which among other things included an interview of Mr. Sterling. That investigation is now complete. The central findings of the investigation are that the man whose voice is heard on the recording and on a second recording from the same from the same conversation that was released on Sunday is Mr. Sterling and that the hateful opinions voiced by that man are those of Mr. Sterling. The views expressed by Mr. Sterling are deeply offensive and harmful. That they came from an NBA owner only heightens the damage and my personal outrage. Sent sentiments of this kind are contrary to the principles of inclusion and respect that form the foundation of our diverse, multicultural, and multi-ethnic league. I am hmm. He goes on to tell you that's everything in this article. I don't want to play no more than that. But as you see, what I'm telling you, and he said ethnic. Hmm. I got you the definition of that right here. Do your own determination of what it means. Sounds a little racial to me, but hey, maybe not. All of the way you determine it, huh? And in this video right here, Magic Johnson comes out and says everything he says, but yet he was messing with the man's girlfriend at the time. We talked about that too yesterday. Now, why would Magic Johnson say, let's do that to this man? Uh, is he wanting to buy that foot, that basketball team? Hmm. <clears throat> Just my opinion. And does this man have anything to do with helping him buy it at a cut rate price? 
Does that make it any sense to anybody? Or is it all just a big game to keep everyone distracted and to make this more appealing or less appealing? to the people since they started racing this too. And we're talking about Mr. Bundy. But you see him with his arm around his neck and the guy smiling with a thumbs up with the man. I mean, folks, don't we have enough problem in this country well, now, setting somebody up, like in this video, uh-oh, did they delete that video on me already? Oh, there it is. Without this, the video right here, putting the words in it, and then publishing it, because of butt-hurt feelings. You know, in this state, if... Uh, TMZ was to done that in this state where I'm at right now what they done there they could have got charged for uh, invading somebody's privacy you know what I mean it doesn't matter I know what the man said was wrong I also know what that girl said in that video was as also just as wrong but my point of all of this is as this man's getting crucified by this girl and now the NFL because this went public and it shouldn't have been able to done so to begin with for anyone to heard but yet they did it so democracy can take over didn't Obama say it yeah there's a video out of Obama talking about this as well people democracy is what destroyed Rome. You do know that, right? Rome was a big republic country based on our republic. And Rome fell because of democracy. The same thing that's going to happen to this country. I'm not going to tell you it's going to happen tomorrow. I'm not going to help. I'm not going to blow up your brain and say that the, the banks are all going to fall tomorrow or next week or next month or give it a time but what I am going to tell you is this this country if we the people don't fix this stuff and quit allowing organizations and corporations to give new laws and new rules and new guidelines that override the Constitution, it's going to destroy us, folks. It is destroying us. It already has. It's getting worse. This is proof. You don't need any more proof, folks. This is dead proof. And the man says in the video up here at the top, this man right here says it in the top, right here, I'm going to do everything in my power to get all the other N NBA owners to vote to get him to sell his basketball team. They're going to make him sell his basketball team, folks. I don't care who you are. I don't care what race you are. I don't care anything about none of that. This ain't about race. In my opinion, this is not race. This is all about this right here. It's about democracy at work. It's about taking your constitutional rights and shoving them so far up everybody's butt. There is no reason for this, folks. None. We are a republic. This is just like I was telling you about my house. This is the same thing. We all signed on the dotted line. 
we got to stop signing on those dotted lines when it has words in it that we don't understand. Do you understand? These laws and rules that they got going on are not right. They are not. They're destroying us. I hope I hope all y'all can see this. Can y'all see it? I mean, is it working? I don't even see the see if there's a comment area here. Chat. Huh? I guess nobody's saying anything, so oh well, doesn't matter. Point being, we're losing people, we're losing our freedoms, and I'm not mad at Magic Johnson. I don't dislike Magic Mag, blah, 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 Magic Johnson. I think he was a very good basketball player. But I don't hold him up as an idol like a lot of people are doing. And I would wish and hope that everybody would do the same thing. Not hold this man up as an idol. He is not an idol. Neither is this guy. And most definitely not this young lady right here. Now, they have a name for young girls like that that hold up with older men when they're nice pretty and sweet not necessarily that it's a bad thing some of them really do fall in love and I have all the hopes and dreams for them but when they're just using you for your money like in this particular instance as you can see what's going on she probably wanted money and he wouldn't give her none so she publicized this this she let this information out you know she's the one that recorded it especially when now this has happened also remember this folks this also happened a while back because he's married now He's not even with her anymore. And there is a, a lawsuit between these two about something. Hmm. Wonder why. You see my point here, folks? Let's just break this side of the law one more time. Let's cost him some more money. So it's costing him a small fortune just to get her out of his life. You see my point here, folks? I mean, really, do you? Do you have any sight into what this is doing to this? Of course you do. It brings up race. What happens when somebody brings up the birth certificate about Obama and him saying uh, democracy or the oldest constitutional democracy? They start screaming and hollering race. Really? I ain't said nothing about race. I treat everybody as equal as I possibly can. I do. I don't care who you are. I speak my opinion, and if that hurts your feelings, I'm sorry for you. And I'm sorry for that too. But I can't help it. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you what I believe to be the truth. And I hope you understand that. I really do. And then they made a, a, a Facebook page. We talked about this yesterday. They did delete this. But it was there. I mean, here's a screenshot of it. And here's a PDF of what could be recorded and put on the page you see some of the hate some of the people that protected him doesn't matter it's the fact of the matter that it was actually created by whomever it was or for what 
And you know, for what I see, twelve people in the hangout. Really? Hmm. That's disturbing. That means when I pushed it a while ago, nobody got the information. Mm -hmm. But that's just like earlier today when I put something up on Facebook. Um, I pushed I pushed this on Facebook a few minutes ago, right here. See, it didn't give no photo. And this one gave this photo, and I didn't want it to, but that's the photo it gave it. Only one. And then earlier today, I shared this one, and it didn't give it a, well, that's the video. It did share that with a video. This one, it did not share a video. All it would do was put this and that in there, and this wasn't even, even this wasn't hyperlinked. It wasn't a link. It was just writing when I posted it. I had to redo it three times and put a photo in it, and then the link finally showed up. Hmm. And there's some strange stuff going on with the other stone. Now, I don't know exactly what. And I put up a page today on it. A little bit of information that I've been gathering for a couple of weeks. Things that I've come across that, that wasn't enough to publish. And I put it all in here, on here. You can see it all. It gives you the actual size of Yellowstone. Gives you some information, part sizes, uh, some extra links here that you can go check out for yourself of all of these pages. I put this on here for all of y'all to update yourself on Yellowstone mainly, and the size and the photo and all the stuff. You can see the outline here. And this top photo right here will actually take you to this page. And we're going to go there now. And that's this right here. Okay. And you can see the activity. This is all today. Today is the, well, this is yesterday's. Sorry. Let's go to today. See what, let's check today's page. Let's see what the day looks like. Well, look at there. Today looks as bad, if not worse, than yesterday. Basically here, here, and here. So there is some kind of activity. What that may be, I don't know. I can't tell you that it's going to go off. I can't tell you that it's not, and I'm not going to. I'm never going to tell you. You're never going to hear me tell you that it's going to go off. Because I don't know. And I don't know nobody that does. I can tell you there's some activity going on there now. And as you see, there was some going on there yesterday as well. I don't know what it means. I'm not going to tell you I do. We're going to check the 27th as well. Just to see. And there was a little bit of activity that day on the 20, what was it, the 27th? The 27th as well. So there has been some activity on Yellowstone in the last three days. Now, has there been any earthquakes? Uh, n not that I know of. There wasn't as of last night. I have not checked it today. I will be honest with about that. And that's all I'm going to speak on that right now. But folks, I don't know which one of you really care anymore or the ones of you that don't care. But democracy is killing this country, people. It really is killing this country. It is killing us in a very, very dramatic way. 
We are not the oldest constitutional democracy. We're supposed to be the oldest constitutional republic. When you say the Pledge of Allegiance, it's to the republic, isn't it? Uh, the State of the Union, Republic, Union, you understand? Obama gets up in the State of the Union address and says democracy. Well, the only problem with that is, and I hate to really say this and tell you, but it's true. After this become a law, the executive order was signed, and now for 143 years, they've based and backed up every law that they can on this. which has become and turned us in to what Obama says, which gripes us all. And when I was, when I said that what we are to do is all stay at home for one day and get every person we know for three or four days or a week before the, the event happens, it's for us all, no matter how bad they gonna block us and ban us and break down all of our channels for a week, do it anyway. Why? Because some of the information is still getting out, people. It's getting out. That's why they're banding and blocking and twisting and tweaking and doing everything that they possibly can to us. But this right here, folks, this is democracy in action. This is like a, basically what I see this is, is a, a dirty corporate takeover. Do you understand? It's a dirty corporate takeover. That's all it is. She set this man up, I think, for this man. Not to be mean, not to be hateful, but that's what it looks like. Just in his comments back on this radio show, that's what it sounds like. Now, can I prove that? No. But it's my opinion, and you damn right, it's my opinion, that that's what I see. I told you yesterday that the NBA was going to ban him. Before I knew it, they just come out with this a couple hours ago. And this man has banned him for life from the NBA. He can't go to games. He can't go to practices. He can't talk to his teammates or his team players. He can't do anything. And he wants to force him completely out. You know, straight up, do y'all feel the same way? Because if you do, you know what you agree with? That's right here. Democracy at work. That's what you believe in. You don't believe in your republic. You don't believe in it at all. You don't care about your republic. And you never will. If you would go against this man for what he said in this video with his girlfriend that set him up to start with, put the information out to the public which is, in my opinion, completely and totally wrong. Because basically she was making him feel as if she was cheating on him to start with. And that's what she was doing. Now, if you agree with all of that and what he said to her and she said to him, they both said the wrong things back and forth to each other. They really did. No matter what. 
and she kept feeding him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hurt you. Really? Was she? Or was she just baiting him for more information? Not to say that what she done was bad, real bad, but in my opinion, I look at the whole situation. But does everybody else? No. They only heard what they wanted to hear. That's all they heard. They only heard what they wanted to hear. They did not hear the truth. They did not hear the twisted angle that was put on the story at the beginning. None of you did. You only heard the word race. Is that right or wrong? Well, in this country, race is a bad thing. That's another democracy word. It really is. And the reason why is because race has what's kept this country from staying a republic. Democracy took over. And it had nothing to do with race. None at all. It didn't have nothing to do with the Civil War with when the, for the North and the South. It had nothing to do with that. It had nothing to do with really freeing slaves. It wasn't about the black and the whites then. They were slaves, yes. I can't do anything about that. That was way before I was born. Don't you understand that? I'm only telling you history. It has nothing to do with race. I don't understand why people think race is such a big deal. If you people, half of you will go back far enough in your own bloodline, whether you're white or black, you're going to find that you're partially white and you're partially black. And you may have some Indian in you, which is American Indian, like me. If you go back far enough, you're going to find out that there's a lot in your bloodline that you don't know about. And it doesn't matter. You're still a human being. And I'm sure at one time or another, we were all one color. Ain't that what the Bible says? So we're all brothers and sisters. It don't matter. Why is this country the biggest race country in the world? Because of the Act of 1871. They've hidden your freedoms from all of us for 143 years. The blacks got the same freedoms that we got. Which, at that time, the white people or the people of this country that lived here, no matter, no matter what race they were, because there were some English black people that come to this country and were senators, whether y'all know it or not. They were senators. The first senator was the first black man to ever own a slave in this country, and he was a black man. Was it a black slave? I don't know. Could have been a white slave. Because don't you think for one minute that the blacks were the only slaves in this country? Don't think that at all because they wasn't. There were whites or light-skinned people. They might not have been what we consider a white person, but a white, they might have been Italian or a, a darker skin but still light skinned just because they didn't speak our language we didn't understand them they enslaved them they captured, captured them and made them slaves the American Indians they had slaves too 
So, people, we have a country and we have a republic. It may not be the best thing in the world, but I will tell you this, and this comes from the heart. This country has a mixture of every country in the world in it that have a similar freedom. This country is made up of every country in the world. And I'm not talking to just me. I'm talking I'm not talking about the one race. I'm talking to every race out there. This country was made up of every culture out there. From American Indians to the Indian country to Mexicans, Japanese, uh, Chinese, Orientals. I mean, um, you just go on and on and on. It doesn't matter. You get my drift. We, the people, we, the people, if we, all of us, all of our races, all of us, we're one family. We've always been one family. If we don't correct and get our republic back, you think this little bitty race thing right here is a bad thing? Wait till they do the same thing to your home or come to you and try to take your children away from you because of one thing or another. they already taken people's children away. But they'll be doing it for anything. You talk too harsh to your child because he wasn't minding you. We can't have that. You get my drift, folks? Yeah, there's some real crazy people that do some real crazy things. And we got to have laws to take care of those things. Really? I mean, the normal thing is to do is if you see something out of line, just take things into your own hands. I mean, it's gotten to that point anymore. You tell anybody, they take the person's complete life away from them. And sometimes all they need is just an ass whipping because they don't know any better. But yet they're going to cost them everything they got by throwing them in jail or uh, whatever. I don't know, folks. Our freedoms are leaving us and leaving us quickly. We have no freedoms. Depending on how old you are, depending on how much you know about freedom. And that's true. I'm 53. And I can remember when I was 14 years old, some of the things that I did when I was a kid was totally okay. But today, you see the same kids playing football on a football field or not a football field, but in a park or something, and they playing football, you'll see them get run off. Why? Insurance. You got to be on a team to do that here. You can't do that here. I don't know, people. I really don't know anymore. I don't know who cares anymore I don't I don't know who cares anymore all I see is the ones that care about fighting this is a fight what you see right here in this is a fight between a man and a woman and she released private information about him to the world knowing that he was a very rich man and what did they do? What did they do? They come after him with both feet and both barrels, cocked, ready to go. 
And it's proof right here. This man loves democracy. Don't you see that? He loves it. Do you love democracy? Or do you love freedom? This man has taken the man's freedom away from him. His freedom to own a, comp, a, a basketball team. He's take, trying to take his rights away from him. Legally. And I told you he was going to do it. Does that make any sense to y'all? Because it sure as hell don't make none to me. It don't make no sense to me at all. Why would you want to take someone's freedom away from them? Mainly over something that you shouldn't have heard to start with. That's the point. I'm sure that that man there has been said a bunch of things he shouldn't have said. Now, how I know, y'all all know that you, you can look at him and tell that he said some things he ain't supposed to. You know it. Everybody has said something about somebody in some way. Whether it was right or wrong. It's all the same. We deal with bullies every day on YouTube. Every day. And y'all know it. It's the same thing. That's what he's doing now. He's bullying that man out of his team. Is that what y'all want? Is it? Because of my opinion, and as long as I can speak my mind, and I'm going to do so, it's wrong. In my opinion, he's wrong. This is a republic. It's not a democracy. Because when it comes to complete and full and straight up democracy, and the ones of you that are awake to the difference in the two words, if we don't start sticking together and start fighting this back and this fighting it hard and fighting it quick, there's no hope for our country or the world. Because a, a democracy world will end up destroying itself. That's my opinion. And from my cold, dead hands, abolish the Act of 1871. And much love to y'all. And y'all all have a good day to the 11 people that are here. Much love.